I'm mainly making this video because viewers have commented on my Twitch stream asking, Hey Marv, why does your game look funny? Or, Hey Marv, why does it look like you're playing on console? And I'll tell you why. It's because I saw this tweet from Popcorp GFX. You can bring some of the UI element closer to the center of the screen. And I've also messed around with the values myself to see what else it can do. You might like this alternative UI. This is where your UI is positioned normally. But if you go into your settings folder, usually found here, you can copy and paste this mumbo jumbo into your settings VO file. Just make sure you back it up. It's not super important, it just stores all your graphics and sound settings. So if you change your mind, you can just copy and paste your old settings back in. Now that I've loaded up the game, you can see the UI is moved towards the center of the screen. This is probably just a hidden set and left over from console overwatch, since they already have it set like this anyway. You might prefer it too if you have a big monitor, or if you keep forgetting to check your things like your ammo, HP, cooldown and kill feed. Being close to the center might save you a slight bit of eye movement throughout the game, and stop you dying because you forgot to check your current stats and situation. You could just learn some game sense, but it's easier just to copy and paste this into the notepad. I also prefer it on stream since it just gives me some free space to put my stream support labels and songs playing. If you're wondering if this is a bannable offence, you're not the only one. When this was first found by Popcorp GFX, Twitch streamer Angry Microwave asked the same thing. MVP tech support Wyoming Mist from Battle.net forums replied with this. So it seems like anything in the settings v0 file is free game. If you want to reset your UI, you can just delete the settings v0 file like Wyoming Mist suggests. Uh, I'll just advise you, if you do that it'll delete your graphics and sound settings, and it'll also make you watch that damn Winston intro again. I made a chronal accelerator. I'm sure I can do this. I have messed around with the values myself to see what else we can make the UI do. For example, you can just put the value 1 in the broadcast margins top and bottom, so the UI only moves in from the top and bottom. Again, with these values, you can just move the UI in from the left and right. I personally prefer leaving it all as 0, apart from the bottom value, so it just moves everything at the bottom slightly up without overlapping some of the other game UI. It's personal preference. The only downside to these settings is if you move the top margin value at all, it stops you from being able to change the loot box you want to open. This also doesn't let you upvote the player on the furthest to the left on the end game card, unless you hide match chat. But who cares, nobody stays for play of the game anymore anyway. Alright, that's all from me. Hope you might find this useful for something. Next video is coming out soon, please subscribe, or see my console UI in action at Twitch McMagic Marv. OW.